Don't look at my garbage bin. In my mouth. I love nuts in my mouth. 100 hours later. What was once colorful is now dark and gray. <gasps> Look at me, I'm like Nigella Lawson right now. Ah, I'm so proud of myself. An egg beater. <laughs> Let's move the chair back. Just so you can see me. Oh, now you can see the bin. Can you see the candles? Yes, you can see the candles. So this is my ingredients for my bulk food, which uh, is like 15,000 calories, probably more. And I eat that over the week. Yeah, no, it's, it's not the tastiest, um, I will admit, but it's got so much nutrition in it. Fueling our bodies. Fuel your body. We've got things like, Nuts. You know I love nuts. Get them in the light. Nuts. 500 grams of nuts. And they're mixed. Lots of different nuts. But that's enough about nuts. Let's talk about seeds. I got these pumpkin seeds. I had flax seeds last time, but they're so small and slippery that I don't like them. But lots of olives, lots of the Kalamata. Yep, that's how you say it. Kalamata olives. I got two blocks of feta to make it taste better. We have our four bean mix. Um, which is a mix of four beans, butter beans, chickpeas, red kidney beans, and baby lima beans, in case you want to recreate this meal at home. Also got lentils, because apparently lentils are good for you. We have this protein peanut butter and this premium coconut milk times two. Don't be lazy, Kane, show them both. There you go, times two. I'm not lying about this stuff, guys. And that's gonna make my satay. And you know what, last week, I decided to add a little bit of soy sauce to my satay, because I was like, why doesn't it taste good? <laughs> and it tasted okay, but one, I think I cooked it too long and it started to separate, gotta be weird. Consistent was gone and then last week I was a bit more methodical and delicate with the way that I cooked it and it came out a lot smoother and I added the soy sauce and it was just it was rich in flavor you know I'm pretty good with eating the same meal every night I'm very used to it, it was fruitarian for a year slash raw vegan so you can only eat raw food yes it was fucking difficult I wanted to uh, bring over this uh, peas and corn and capsicum um, I like that it's frozen because I don't have to chop anything up. And also frozen stuff usually has more nutrients just because like these are actually left to ripen. These are the ripest ones and they get frozen. So nutrients. I got a kilo of sweet potato. Oh, you know what that looks like. I got 500 grams of broccoli. You know what that looks like. And I got a big red cabbage. I'll come show you because it's purple. It's really nice. Cabbage. Check that shit out. You can pretend you're gonna bowl. Strike. I have a whole method written down. So this makes sure that I'm counting how much of everything I'm putting in and then I put it in this app and it tells me how many calories I've had because apparently that's what you've got to do to get muscles. When I really don't want to do something, I'm going to find a way not to do it. So I cook the same thing all the time. I never have to put anything in the app. So I outsmarted the app. Um, anyway, yeah, so it actually went through a few iterations. This is, I think this was the second iteration. This is really cute. I also write messages to myself. Kane, food in fridge, fire alarm inspection. This was the first iteration of the method. It looks very chaotic because obviously I was experimenting, but it's all right, I know it off my heart. Actually, no, I don't because I have to put a certain amount of oil in. Oh, I don't want to do this. This is going to take so long. It literally takes an hour and a half. I've timed it. And I've been watching The Voice. That's, I didn't even explain my background. Put the koala in, um, got the voice on, which I'm gonna watch. You're not allowed to for copyright reasons. And I put candles in the background. Don't you think that's nice? Do you see that I'm trying for you? I've even got my light here, but I put it all on an ironing board to distract you from my garbage bin. So whatever you do, don't look at my garbage bin. Gray piece of metal, shit. Don't look at it. Don't, don't. What? Eyes here, eyes here, eyes on the titties. All right, I really need to start cooking or nothing's gonna get done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go because I'm not gonna get anything done if I talk to a camera. And I also wanna watch The Voice, it's way more fun to me. But I did want to highlight um, my new food processor. Honestly, the best thing I've ever bought in my life. And if you don't have a food processor, you should get a food processor because holy shit, shredded sweet potatoes, shredded cabbage. In seconds, you don't have to cut shit. So I just wash them, put them in. Zzz. So I'll show you what that looks like. Even the broccoli, I put the broccoli in the food processor and especially the nuts. Okay, I used to put the nuts in a bag and I'd get a hammer and I'd ch -ch -ch on the ground and I live in an apartment so it's very much like someone's building at 9 p.m. at night and that's rude. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna be that guy. It takes like, and it takes an hour because like every nut and then the bag breaks and then there's nuts on the floor and vacuum. So I got a food processor, it was only 30 bucks. It's definitely better than the whole nut situation. We know I love nuts, just not on the ground. In my mouth, I love nuts in my mouth. With the food processor, just whiz it up. It takes like 30 seconds to do the 600 grams of nuts and then I just put them in. Yeah, nice and easy, geez. Okay, I'm gonna whiz everything up and then I'll show you after, but I'm definitely gonna watch The Voice for a bit. Oh, I don't wanna do it. 
Your job is to make sure the koala doesn't get set on fire. So if something happens, can you tell me? I can't hear myself. This is really loud. This dude's really good. So minimal chopping. Did I press record? Yeah. I've washed these too. I would recommend washing your vegetables, especially because I'm leaving the skin on because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin and also peeling is a pain in the ass. So just eat it and it's washed. It's fine. Plus, you know, little dirt. It's good for you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Easy, more digestible. You've increased the surface area. It's good food processor. I'm going to do that a lot of times now. If you haven't heard Guy Sebastian at Eurovision, you should definitely do that. What a voice. Okay, you want to see what I've done? 100 hours later. That looks so cool. So cool. And trust me, this is the first time it's looked like this. Usually I just chuck it all in, but I was like, you know what? I have an opportunity here to make a good thumbnail. Hi, look at my vegetables. Do you want some vegetables? Anyway, it's red cabbage, broccoli, and sweet potato. And then I'm gonna cook that in. Where's my method book? 100 mils oil. Extra virgin. Don't even. So I measure it out here. Oh, oh. <laughs> plastic in here. <laughs> I don't wanna eat plastic. Not again. It's pretty slow. It's kind of annoying, but um, gives you time to think. Like, is this really what I want to be doing with my life? I don't know. It's 100 mils oil, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cook that up. Watch some more of the voice, cause it takes, it takes a long time. It's really fucking, oh, just gets to me sometimes. And like, I'm only, what, like a third, a quarter of the way through. Bloody hell. Oh, what was once colorful is now dark and gray. Not today. Not today. This is intense. Oh my God, Ad, are you joking? I've been standing there for like 30 seconds. Up, uh, we're back. Just choose Delta. Choose Delta. No, Kelly. Oh, just choose Delta. I want to get cooking. Okay, she chose Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Was it worth the wait? No. I have finished the colorful turn brown conglomeration. So that's the first layer. This is a seven liter container, by the way. Another thumbnail? I can't hear myself, it's still playing, but that looks pretty good. Mmm. Nuts, 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 Look at look at what it'll do. Okay? This is before. See the nuts? I'm dropping cabbage everywhere. I will show you those nuts once I can get the lid on. Hey, there we go. Oh, Needs a bit more, needs a bit of a stir. It's not good, it's wet inside because the capskin was wet. So now everything's clumping together. This is why I should have done the nuts first. I always do the nuts first. I don't know what was wrong with me. It's all right, we'll get through it. One nut at a time. Hell yeah, looks so good. They're nice and fine, delicious. Lots of fiber in these nuts too, and protein. A lot of protein in my nuts. I mean, I'll stop, okay? That was the last nut joke, I promise. I'm gonna do the rest of them, I'll be right back. Oh, he's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, did he write this? Well, that's beautiful. All right, that's the last nut layer. And I think the last time I have to use the processor, which is sad, but all good things come to an end. Look at that, look at that. It's a nut layer. Now we've got to cook, the, we're about 50, 40% of the way done. <gasps> We have a seed layer now. Uh, these are these are pumpkin seeds. Are they pumpkin seeds? Yes, they're pumpkin seeds. So now I get my olives, my beans. <gasps> Look at me, I'm like Nigella Lawson right now. So we'll strain the olives, olives. I know you're probably gonna be just disgusted, but I'll tell you what, once you put the satay sauce on top, anything tastes good. So I'm really, I just found nutritious things with lots of calories. You know, I could have Maccas every night. I could have pizza every night. No, man, I'm trying to keep it natural. You know, I could be doing heroin. I could be shooting up right now, but I'm not. I'm eating up, eating up on good, nutritious food. You gotta put your back into it when you open lentils. Adds to the flavor. That'll do, donkey. All right, beans. <laughs> it just never ends. You know what motivates me to do it and get through it is once it's done, that's, that's the whole week. Like, I just have to sacrifice one and a half hours of one night and the peas, corn, ooh, and capsicum. Shit. Daddy, have you got the scissors? They're like so tight. I never used to be that tight. <gasps> Did I get weaker? Fucking hedge clippers. But look, you clean up as you go, you know? I got a little rubbish bag here. So we cook that in 50 mils of oil and then we add spinach. Not just any spinach, the babies. 
I'm gonna eat the babies. But I didn't kill it myself, so it's okay. I'm gonna cook this up, put the babies in. So I didn't film it because obviously you can imagine what it looks like when you put all that stuff in a pan and, and mush it around, but it looks like that. And I added the spinach. But anyway, enough about that, more about this. I just talked to Matt and I forgot to mention that we're going away um, on a little camping trip uh, this weekend. It's gonna be super nice, just us in the middle of nowhere. This is a little cabin we're staying in. Some cows. Look, water. They're nice, they're nice. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Fields of green. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Me and you. Okay, no joke. Bathurst is really lovely. <laughs> How good's Bathurst? I think we're gonna move here. Look at the ducks. Look at this guy. Everyone's just so comfortable. Bathurst. Bathurst. Cool! <laughs> cool. Fucking beautiful. That's one kangaroo. Two kangaroo. Three kangaroo. Look at the fog. Amazing. This is all the Lego. Oh my god, it's a little baby. <gasps> this one's a bit sus. Little baby. Alright, you can go outside, babe. Oh, well, <laughs> it's just like, what do I do, what do I do? Oh, good job, Matt. It's so cold out here. You're just gonna have to take it all in. Holy fuck, it's cold. <laughs> How crude? Oh, Hogwarts Express. <laughs> hey, Hermione. Ah! <laughs> Dumbledore! <laughs> Help! <clears throat> so... Peaceful. Like it's really cold. It just like snapped today and it's got really cold. Like winter is here. And like, I mean like if it's nine degrees Celsius because Celsius is the superior measurement system. Like anything below nine is absolutely stark. It's like, it's just cold. Yeah, it's not even there yet and it's like cold. It's like, it was like 16 degrees today. It was really cold. It's definitely gonna be cold, which is cute as fuck because we can just like light the fireplace. Then I said that I wanted to get Lego, but um, have you looked up how expensive Lego is. I just wanted to get like Helm Steve at Lord of the Rings and it was $350 and I was like like it looks it's not that impressive like $350 like they're just blocks. Another layer delicious and don't worry we're gonna mix it afterwards but look how cool that looks you can see all the layers it's like an actual cake. <laughs> ah, I'm so proud of myself. See like I make it fun you know. I'm gonna make the satay sauce because I just want this to be over. I'm trying not to be too loud too because there's people, people everywhere. Get out the coconut milk. Ah, and chuck that in. Ah, scary. I don't know when it's gonna happen. I just don't want you to look at the bin. Have you been looking at the bin? I've heard just about enough of you. No more bin. Ooh, gotta pay attention. So we just wanna heat up, heat, and you wanna put your soy sauce in. I don't know how much that was. I'm actually surprised I didn't measure it. I just went for it. Hmm. Ain't about it. Full of good fat. Who's your fatty, fatty, fatty? <gasps> Where are my nuts? Who's your fatty, fatty, fatty? Ooh, it's a fatty, fatty, fatty. All right, satay's done. Come have a look. It's all right, I'll bring it to you. Look at that. Nice, good consistency, some chunky bits. Smells amazing. You just chuck it on top. Hell yeah. What do I do with this? This is really gross. I have so much shit in here. Time to do a clean up. Time to do a clean up. Oh, so much to clean up. You know what's annoying? I could put this in the dishwasher, but the dishwasher is full of clean things. Oh, which means I have to unpack it. You know what? No. No, not tonight. It's already nine o'clock. I'll just rinse everything and put it in the sink, and then tomorrow I'll pack the dishwasher. Because literally, this has already been like an hour and like 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. I'm onto my second episode of The Voice. All right, I'm gonna do the omelet. Final crack. Make it a good one. I just felt it. I didn't even look. I used my feelings. It's the worst crack. My 12 children. And then you know what else we had? We had half a tub of sour cream. I keep saying omelette. I'm, it's more like scrambled eggs. I'm just like making scrambled eggs and I'll put them on top. And then you get uh, Thai seasoning and you remove the lid. That slows it down. And you just put a whole jar in. Get it all. Because that's actually pretty flavorless, so <laughs> we're gonna need it. You know what? Not even just that one. If you've got just some all purpose garlic seasoning lying around, just make sure. Just half a jar. Half a jar. Like an egg beater. So if your egg babies start having fights in there, 
I'll beat you. I'd never beat my children. I don't think I need to say that, but I do as well. That's the general idea. And then we're gonna cook that, and then we add the feta, and then we're fucking done. Holy shit. So close. And then I have to eat it, and I have to go to bed. I'm gonna watch um the behind the scenes Game of Thrones documentary. I downloaded it legally. Of course, for anyone watching that could possibly enforce any laws. You know what, while that's cooking, we're gonna multitask. Feta is non-negotiable. The feta has to go in. It really, really makes it worthy. Tell you what, I fucking hate opening this packaging. They literally not want you to get to it. Pretty sure this would survive a hurricane. If you don't like feta, you die. It's kind of like a justifiable punishment. Do I have a cooking show? Is this a cooking show? Can you even see anything? Holy shit, I'm so sorry. I wonder if you can see anything. It's hard for me to tell, like it's such a small screen. You know, it's kind of nice at the end, like it's relaxing, everything looks clean. I'm just stirring my pot, just quiet. I put the feta in and I finished my amazing feta and much spice green um, scrambled eggs. Do not say ooh. Don't say ooh, Kels. Um, it's Greek feta, so it's crumbly. That's what it says in the packaging. And we clean as we go. Because we are adults now. So it's good just to make it homogenous. It's my rule, my camera battery is dying. So I know it kind of looks like dog food, right? But it tastes good. It's good for me. It tastes good. Oop, don't look at the sink. Don't look at the sink. Don't look at the bin. Don't look at the sink. Do you mean to move the sink? It'll taste so good, sort of. Not as good as a Big Mac. That's all I had to say. I just had to, I actually recharged my batteries so I could say this. So you can see the final product. I'm gonna eat that now. Delicious. <laughs>